Should we talk about Chelsea and their number nine scenario? Should we do that? Well, they've not got a good record, let's be honest about this, Chelsea, when it comes to getting centre forwards. I could name you ten. Well, not Absolute getting them, howlers. it's them working, is it? Go on, name, name the ten you've got. Um, well, I've got De Santo. Right. He didn't work. Franco De Santo, that was. Uh, Falcao didn't work. Uh, Pato didn't work. Pizarro didn't work. Um, Shevchenko? Uh, Shevchenko didn't work. Maratta didn't work. Higuain didn't work. Uh, Batshuayi has not worked. Mutu didn't work. <laughs> I can go on. There's more. Torres. He kind of. I'd like to give Torres a little bit of love actually because they had a little bit of success with Torres, even though he didn't a score the bit. goals. Yeah. Uh, they wanted him uh, to. Crespo definitely didn't work. Three of the five seasons he was there at Chelsea, he was out on loan somewhere, so he didn't work. Giroud's not really worked. Scored a few Ooh, goals in the uh, Europa League, hasn't he? But it's not. not I think for what they bought, he's, he's not worked. becoming out and out. No, number one. But he never he? was going to be, was he? Uh, so you look at the decent ones they've had, and I mean Lukaku didn't work first time there. I no. don't think he scored a goal, did he? No, no. That so, but didn't work. an Elka, I would say worked. Okay, he won the Golden Boot at Chelsea, believe it or not. Um, Demba Bar, would you say he worked? I would I'd give him a little bit of credit. I think give Liverpool him a little bit fans of credit. Would say definitely worked. Costa definitely worked. Uh, yeah. Drogba definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely worked. Eto worked. He was the only there one season. Did it, that, did it work yeah, when yeah, Semi Eto was there? Yeah, a decent okay. season, Eto. Um, that that were it. I mean, you could push it, uh, Loic Remy, a little oh, bit. You're naming it? names I forgot they had. Loic yeah, Remy. Yeah, exactly. They've had a they've didn't had he a hole of QPR. Did he got a QPR like Remy. Have I made that? Up? Was it QPR? It was, wasn't he? The, they've had a nightmare when it comes to their forwards. They've not really worked out. But now we're starting to talk about two that could come into the club. Um, that would sh- well surely if they came in now. Lukaku for a second spell with a form he's in around the world in all football. Do you think Lukaku's in the conversation of best number nines in the world at the moment? Oh, look at his record, wherever he's been. Why Why weren't United fans convinced about well, him? Well, he scored he's... goals, didn't he? I know he? he did, but why Why are they still not convinced? I, I, I don't know. I think he was going through a spell, Lukaku, where he didn't know whether to bulk up or slim down, and he, he, he never found his true what they wanted at Manchester United. Yeah. But I think now, if he was playing in this Manchester United team, I think he'd score a mm. lot of goals. Do Chelsea need a number nine? We've seen Man City win the league without yeah. a number nine. They I, do. I think they do. Yeah. yeah. Um, Haaland's the other one that's been... I mean, listen. I mean, any of them two. I mean, yeah. job done. Who, who do you think Chelsea fans would prefer? The reason I ask that is because <sighs> Lukaku's played in the Premier League. He's experienced. Haaland's not, but he's, of course, got seven years oh, on him, 21 mate. years. I mean, I thought Lukaku at the Euros... He's got so his much strength, his dribbling skills. He's... His first touch used to be his weakness, but I think that's improved massive. Mm. He's powerful in the air as well, mm. and he's a good finisher. He gets Fantastic half a chance finisher, now. He puts yeah. it away, mate. Lukaku's right up there at 28. He's at his peak. Haaland, it's what you could get. We don't know, do we? I mean, he could tear it up big time. <laughs> Everyone yeah. else has been. He's a monster, a young... though. He's, Haaland, he's a monster. He? Yeah. And I don't think he, I think he'd be a success. As well. Yeah. I don't see £130 million as a problem either. No, it's You're getting not, him for like 12, the 13 years. If, if they really want him, they, they Here, Here's it. the thing, here's the thing, right? And I've not thought this before. It's just popped in my head. If you bought Haaland now for £130 million, you had him for seven years, you'd sell him for more than that in seven years. Wouldn't you? If you sold him as a 28-year-old... Well, it would be his last move. I mean, when you get him to... Yeah, when you get into 27, 28, that's your last move. Yeah, okay, let's say 20, yeah. 26. Let's say you have him for five years. You're going to make money Keep him for five or six. You're going to make money. And he's knocking in... 25 goals a year. No brainer. You're selling him for what you're selling Harry Kane for. At least. At well, least. with inflation, it yeah. would be, yeah. All right, Chelsea fans and football fans, you can have your say on that. Here's the big one. Chelsea fans, do you need the number nine? You've seen you've performed, you sort of won the Champions League without one. You've seen Man City win the Premier League without one. Do you need a number nine? Who would you take? Lukaku with his experience in the Premier League or Haaland without it? But of course, he's a monster and he bangs in goals for fun. Lots to talk about. One number to dial. Chelsea fans, 0871722334. This is Drive on Talksport with WeBuyAnyCar.com. Get a free online quote in under 60 seconds. Enter your age number now.